Hi there, welcome to an all new episode of the G Suite Show. You know, Google offers a wide array of apps and services, but if you think back a long, long time ago to ancient history, AKA the 90s, Google started as just a search engine. And that's because we realized that having the world at our fingertips isn't much help if you can't find anything. Now that's truer today than ever before, because at work you have information spread across so many different platforms that you spend a lot of time just remembering where to find things. So that's why we've introduced Google Cloud Search for our G Suite business and enterprise users. Google Cloud Search integrates machine learning with Google Search to create a unified experience across all of G Suite. Once authorized by your organization, you can download the Google Cloud Search mobile app or find it at cloudsearch.google.com. Using Cloud Search is every bit as easy as a normal Google Search. So let's say I've got a meeting coming up and I want to reference an email I sent earlier this week. I'll type the keywords from that email in the search box. Underneath that, I can filter by different G Suite content sources, including mail, drive, sites, and calendar. I'll check mail. I can also click search tools for more advanced filters like owner, time period, or content type. So I'll say within the last week. And there it is. Search results are clearly displayed on the right and include title, content type, a snippet of the email or document, and its privacy settings. Best part is Cloud Search will learn the more you use it and will make suggestions based on prior searches. And at the bottom of the list, I can choose to just search the web instead of just my G Suite apps. Also, the same operators and filters that work for Google Search also work for Cloud Search too. And privacy is still a top priority for us at Google. That's why Cloud Search respects G Suite's file sharing permissions and only allows users to find and search files that they have access to. Cloud Search can do more than find information, it can find people too. Like a robot PI. Hmm, note to self, start working on a robot PI meets Blade Runner screenplay. If I'm working with Mike on an upcoming project, I can type in his name and Cloud Search will provide his contact details in a card while listing any events or files we have in common. If I want to contact him, I can send an email or start a hangout by simply clicking the icon in his card. Now here's where things get really cool. Thanks to machine learning, Cloud Search can actually go one step further and give you what you want before you ask. Like how you got me a latte without me even saying anything about it. I'm not getting you a latte. <sighs> With a shot. The Cloud Search app provides relevant information to you throughout the day organized into cards so you can stay on top of meetings, documents, and emails. A card for my upcoming meeting, for example, might include documents attached to the event, recommended files related to the meeting, or emails about the meeting from invited guests. Meeting cards also let me join a video call, change my response, email guests, or pull up the schedule for the day, all with just one tap. There's also a card labeled Pick Up Where You Left Off that changes throughout the day, offering a list of documents and files I recently viewed or edited. As you can see, it's about providing you the right info at the right time. And Cloud Search learns the more you use it, so it's always improving. Here's your latte. Jimmy, you're the best. I know. Any questions or comments about Google Cloud Search? Let us know in the comments below. Until next time. Actually, I don't want this. Seriously? Check out last week's episode to learn more about AppMaker, the easy-to-use tool that lets you build and deploy custom applications for your organization. It's a game changer.